bottle up or not? Yeah. Oh, you gonna let me open it up here? Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. You'll, it's the last one of the year. This like, is kind of a big damn deal, man. This is a big opening. I mean, I got on my brown real tree shirt. And that means one thing. Okay. We're gonna catch brown fish. Pretty excited about it. <laughs> I am not gonna lie, I forgot to it. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. This is a very special episode of the DC Fishing Channel. This is the last derby of the year. This is our last trout walk. Yeah. So if you hadn't paid any attention all year, pay attention to this one. Because we have a 19 hour drive. Remember the movie 72 hours? This is 19 hours. I've never seen that movie. I may chop off my arm. Somebody comment day. below. I've never seen the 72 hour movie. What is that? It's the guy that gets his arm caught in a rock when he's hiking. And he ends up cutting off his own arm. With... Comment below. Never heard of it in my life. 72 hours. He was hiking? Yeah. Just like, like a, broke back mountain? Like here is no. No. Uh, no, no, not not that. <laughs> he got pinned down for other reasons. Oh, Brokeback Mountain. They got they got pinned down got together. Pinned together. Wow. All right, so welcome back to the channel. Here we are. We are headed to New York. Uh, got a special pit stop. We're gonna make a, a stop up there. I gotta pick up a couple people. They're gonna fly in. But we got a travel vlog going. I'm excited about it. We're, what, what city is this? Rainbow City. Rainbow City. Rainbow City, Alabama. We're gonna slide on up. Probably gonna slide on that jacks right there too. Get us a little breakfast. We got a good trip ahead. I'm excited. We've had the whole month of July off. Me and me and Britt been itching. We've been itching, getting ready to get back after. You excited? Yeah. Me too. We got 19 hours to talk about it. <laughs> we got a long time to talk about it. Hope we get a lot of interesting things. May even get a scratch off. Hey, I'll tell you what we need to do. That's, that's no, always we, a we losing don't get deal. Scratch -off. The losing deal. No, no, you're the scratch off man. No, I, how much did I spend on that scratch off? You went in there one day like a boss to put forty dollars up. Oh, he man, lost he, it all. Out of nowhere, he went in there and got <laughs> he got him a little Red Bull or something. And he, out of nowhere, Brent said, "Let me get four of them." I went, "What?" <laughs> He got four scratch offs. Didn't even get a free ticket back. Should have set the money on fire. At least it would have provided me some more. I laughed really hard about that. <laughs> so, welcome back to the channel. This is the New York Travel Vlog, baby. We finally made it. Last day of the year. I'd love to win one more. Oh. Imagine. An Amazon rainforest. Imagine those big leaves with rain dripping off of them. You know, like the Amazon. Yeah. That's what we are in the southeast right now in the United States. A freaking tropical rainforest, my guy. It's unbelievable. It rains every day. And what's crazy is it don't matter where you go. We're 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 eight hours into the trip, seven hours into the trip. I've been driving seven hours. Brett hasn't did anything. Shut up. Brett has <laughs> not dri driven, drove, whatever past tense. He's not driving present tense. No. Brett, what have you done this trip? I've been working. That's why I haven't been filming. I've been working. Y'all. Like you let the cat out of the bag. You're not supposed to tell them we have been in here eight hours and haven't filmed. We have. I know, but you're not supposed to tell them that I'm we've been in here eight hours and haven't filmed. It's exposed. There's two truths right now. Yeah. We live in a tropical rainforest. This has been the wettest summer I've ever seen. Which I'm not. I'm not against that. That's it not feels, true. That's not true. My good. grass is brown dead because it didn't rain for forever, and now it's decided they're going. Your gonna grass get... is brown dead from all the rain. No, it only started raining like two weeks well, ago. I'd be glad that your grass is brown dead because I'm paying my guy to cut my grass every week and a half now instead of three weeks or two. You know what I mean? Like it's growing a lot. And I got these stinking weeds in my yard that I got to pay to get going. Listen, up in Birmingham, it didn't rain the first half of the summer. And then all of a sudden, these last three, two or three weeks, it's like, hey, we're going to get it all in right now. Well, I enjoy it. I do know that I enjoy driving. I'm just, we got 10 more hours, y'all. We're gonna stop. Comment below. Let us know where to stop. You eat lunch. 
not sure how that's gonna work. <laughs> you want me to check the comments real quick? What do you, yeah, check the comments right. a week from now. No, when's this, when's this video going out? It's going uh, Sunday. Okay, well, I'll start to death by then. So don't comment below, we're gonna go by Wendy's. Yeah. Wendy's, shout out Wendy's. I'm, they're typically easy to find. A good square pad. They're way better than McDonald's. Comment below if you like McDonald's. I need to know a real poll about McDonald's. Cause I just don't I don't think that that's I don't think that's the place no more. No. Not for me. I don't really like McDonald's. I think their meat is not a hundred percent ground beef like it's not hamburger meat. I think they got a lot of soybeans in it and I think I'm soy intolerant. I think I am. My stomach stays tore up. You're intolerant. Pretty bad. So we're not going to that Love's and that McDonald's, but now we're well on our way, y'all. It's just raining. We're we've got a long way to go. I wish I could pay somebody to drive us. Don't be a left lane loafer. See that sign? Yeah. I, I ain't loafing. I got this daggum diesel in the wind. I'll take over driving a little bit. I had to do a little bit of work. All right, I'm gonna hold you accountable. I'm gonna hold the camera when you do it. That way, I'm gonna. That way they know. That's fine. But, but I'm telling you something real quick before I let y'all go. When Brett drives, he don't drive. I mean, I'm kicked back. I'm chilling. Maybe I'm not not the best driver, but. 10 and Brett, 2, baby. 10 and with, 2. With this boat, Brett is just like this. He's like. Don't forget, I check the mirrors like every three seconds. He's sitting there looking, making sure he's always. within the sign. Always. The lines. He's sitting there looking. That's what he'd be doing. But that's good, keeping us safe, so. Listen, I don't want to get up there and we got half of a boat and it's my fault. I don't want that. We do need this boat because there's a bunch of brown, brown smallmouth, a bunch of brown fish that want to get caught. So, well, y'all, cornfield. I'm already thinking about deer hunting again. So, all right, we're well on our way. We're going to stop and get some food, catch up with y'all here in a few minutes, keep you updated. Right now, we're in a tropical rainforest. That's where we're at. There's freaking whatever kind of animals that live in a tropical rainforest, that's the only thing we're missing. So we're getting the rain, I can tell you that. Lovely. You didn't know I was gonna do that. Wendy's, how you rate it? Well, not, not, <laughs> chew, chew first, don't, don't. Yep. Okay, we're waiting. Yeah, I'll look away from it here. I still ain't done yet. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll wait here. Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to rate Wendy's. I'm going to give Wendy's a 6.3 out of 10. And that's point. fairly high. It's fairly high for a fast food place. Here's the only reason I rate them. That ghost pepper sauce they got, freaking legit. You ain't never tried the ghost pepper. No, I have. I tried it, uh, I can't remember what tournament we were going to. But ghost we... pepper is pretty good. Yeah. So that's what turned me back on to the nuggets. And like in, in, in college, I used to live off Wendy's and Taco Bell. I think everybody did. A good meal in, in college was Captain D's. I, I, I believe can't, it or not. I don't do Captain D's very much. Why? I just don't. I would venture to guess. Mike. I got to put this down. I'm going to be honest. I know y'all didn't want to join in on this travel vlog and just see us talking in a the truck. There's people clicking off right now. Oh, I'm tired of seeing them talk. Well, that's fine. I'm going to go on one little quick rant. My wife is from Mobile. I love my wife. Her, Adrian, he's from like New Jersey. Shout out to all my people that live like two hours and within to the coast. Because if you think about it, that's a very big area. Yeah. All the way from the Texas panhandle all the way around the United States. They all are used to seafood on the coast. Mm -hmm. Seafood on the Gulf. Okay? Yeah. F-Y-I. Everybody's like, ooh, red lobster. Red lobster, ooh. Like, do you like red lobster? I do like red lobster. Okay, well you're an anomaly because everybody's like, red lobster, oh my God, red lobster. Guess what? 
every piece of seafood that you eat still at the coast, majority of time, is frozen. It's froze. That's how they preserve it. So if you get frozen shrimp at the coast, they come out of the, the Gulf, they're frozen shrimp in Missouri, and they cook them. They're frozen in brine. They're frozen. And another quick fun fact, if you're at the beach, please don't do this. Don't order king crab or snow crab and be like, oh man, they're so fresh, I love, there's nothing better than crab legs on the beach. They're from Alaska. <laughs> they're not from the beach. Alaskan snow crab, it says it in the title. Oh, there's nothing like seafood on the Gulf. They're from Alaska. They flew them in four months ago. You do seafood hear that. <laughs> is seafood. It don't matter where it's at. Captain D's is not <laughs> gulf food. I, I was about to say, I wonder we're how, talking about some white fish. I was we're trying talking about to, cod. I was trying to figure out when you were going to bring it back to Captain D's. We're talking about codfish. Okay. Captain D's on a scale out of 10 is a 5.7. <laughs> I used to fool with it a lot, but I don't fool with greasy stuff no more because my stomach won't allow me to do that. So the fish, I used to love it. Now I can't eat it. It's really highly breaded. Probably not really healthy. Got a lot of grease in it. Messing my stomach up. 5.7 on with the video. I ain't smoking no more. No, oh, he's about to pull over. Then tire's about to fall off. Oversized load, brother. We gotta get past this thing. I would say they were towing that straight to Clanton, Alabama. But they're not, because they're going north, so. But I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> shout out Clanton, my hometown. They got them trailers all day, every day. And I gotta shout out my, my wife down there around Mobile. They be towing them into Mobile all the time. Oh, I see them Clayton trucks all the time on 65. Alabama's got a lot of travel trucks, I mean, a lot of double wides. Ain't that right? I grew up in a double wide. That's why the tornadoes like us. They know. We're in Tornado Alley, double wide alley. Got, got to have them. 100%. They doing that straight to, straight to Clanton. Straight to Verbena. <laughs> Shout out all my Verbena folks. <laughs> <laughs> a little inside joke right there. See, y'all can't say, y'all can't hate on me because I'm from there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, let me hate on my own hometown. <laughs> Are we doing an update? We can do an update. How many hours are we in now? 30? Uh, what time did you pick me up? 4.30? We're, mm, it's, it's 1.30 local time. So you've been driving almost 10 hours. 10. Nine and a half hours in right now. You know what they call that? What? Both hands. Both hands. Both I hands. I literally counted that like 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 your daughter would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, our kids will be counting with their fingers. All right, I've been driving nine and a half hours. It's still raining. <laughs> Look, it is still raining. So, uh, yep, we're rolling up through. Where are we at? In Virginia right now? Dude, I don't know where Shout we're out, Virginia, real quick. Y'all got a beautiful state. Um, a lot of mountainy, mountainy ranges. Um, what are these called? Port Appalachians? I don't know. I think these are the Appalachian Mountains. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right, that's right. We're Sorry. Actually, we're actually in them right now. We just passed a load of Corvettes. Got me. So, Caught yeah, up. We're getting a little bit loony, nine and a half hours in, but quick fun fact, we got nine hours left. So, y'all join us. We're I'm going to try not to get a ticket. I think the speed limit's 60. I'm going 80, so I don't, I don't really know. Hey, if we do get a ticket, we'll let y'all join <laughs> in, on paying it. Did <laughs> <laughs> it too, baby. <laughs> hey man, that no, way. Hey, you been stove, you been stove up over for about two hours. No, no, I'm, good. To I'm good. I'm good. How are you enjoying this ride? It's a long one, but we are in the hills of Pennsylvania right now. 
630. Um, we're still trucking. We're in the hills of Pennsylvania. All right, comment below. Somebody comment below. I don't know how this looks, but <laughs> whatever. Y'all comment below. So in Tennessee, they got hillbillies. Are there hillbillies up here in Pennsylvania and New York? No. No? What do you, what do they call these people? Liberals. Liberals. <laughs> God <laughs> don't mind. Hillbillies, yeah. I guess there is hillbillies up here. I don't really know. Y'all comment below, let us know. We're, uh, we're almost to Scranton, I would say, maybe. Real famous person, I think, from Scranton. Who's that? I don't think he knows. Do you know? Uh, the the show The Office was set in Scranton. Joseph Biden was from there. Oh, was he? I think so. Oh, he's the most popular president. He got the most votes ever. 81 million, to be exact. <laughs> Told you liberals live in these hills. I haven't met many people that like him. But... <laughs> All right, then. Well, we're still trucking, y'all. Figure we'll give you an update. He is 10 and 2. 10 and 2 had to show that. Uh, I'm, I, I was That was a joke. I'm not really 10 and 2. Bull I'm, crap. You've been 10 and 2 I, for no, two hours. Put, put the camera down. I'm getting nervous. I got to ah. go. <laughs> All right. We're going to stop shortly and then check in. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. I have it on autofocus and it won't focus. Here we go. Got to mind. Don't even say New York on it. <laughs> like you missed the guys. Signs. You get I on have... me all the time for missing these signs, and look, you missed the signs. It's not easy when you're going 80 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't easy, is it? it ain't easy. Oh, we're still driving. We've turned loopy. <laughs> We've turned loopy in here. What do you want for dinner? I don't. I just. This wanna... is now travel vlog with you. I want a bed. I'd love a bed. a bed. <laughs> God to mind. Oh, all right. So I'm just telling you, I was a dang haul, boys and girls. <clears throat> we are 30 minutes from Syracuse. We ain't even made it up there yet. Yeah, we ain't even actually here yet. We're not even there yet. <laughs> we got like five more hours. I'm dead serious. <laughs> That's the crazy part, yeah. I almost had to take a daggum aspirin because we was getting blood clots. We was in that damn car so long. Got to mighty. How about it? All right, Holiday Inn Express. I'm going to rate this, give you a quick rating here in Courtland, New York. I'm going to rate it an 8.6. The beds were comfy. The beds were comfy. The air I had it cooled down, 64 degrees. You got to keep it down low, okay? Because I got I can't be getting hot. You got to understand, you underneath a bunch of covers, it's gonna be hot underneath there if it's 70, 64. There was a little pee on the seat. It was, it was <laughs> caked up. Yellow pee stains on the seat, kind of sticky because I sat on it. Um, that's why I wouldn't attend. So, if y'all clean y'all's toilet seat, y'all would be a 9.3. Price was good though. 135. 150 plus tax, because New York got them taxes high as dope. <laughs> so, we're going to go. We're going to Syracuse to pick up two people. Hadn't told you who yet. See y'all there in a minute. I don't know why I'm walking this way. I got to go to my truck. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get over where you was at? I don't remember. I think I turned down here. That turn you just missed. Got to mighty. Well, I mean, I was I was pretty late on the draw there, but I'm pretty sure I went over there. You don't I, know where the hell you went. You just said over there and then over there. No, I said over there. All right, we're at Syracuse Hancock Airport. Why you gotta say it like that? That's the name of it, Hancock. Airport. Did you hear? I, I did. That's what she said. All right. What's up, man? Yeah, you're picking up or dropping off? I'm picking up. All right, what airline? 
American. All right, so you just can't stop inside the terminal with the boat? Yeah, they're you not here yet. Arrival A. Arrival yeah, A. Yeah, where the it'll, it'll put you where the FedEx truck is on the opposite curb back there. Right. So go back out to the light. That guy was super nice. Yeah. All right, y'all. Quick fun fact about Syracuse Airport. I flew out of here after I won Cayuga. Mm -hmm. Didn't you take me over? I did. I drove home. Yep. I had to go to Dallas. Flew there. What was cool about that trip is when we took off out of Syracuse, I just won the tournament. It was phenomenal. Literally, like, the next morning at, like, 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. So we're flying up. We flew right over Cayuga. And I, like, looked down where I was catching smallmouth, and I was like, wow, what a life. It was unbelievable. So then, um, yeah, and then last year, uh, we came up here. I flew into here. Brett picked me up from the same airport. Mm -hmm. That was when we were doing all the stuff in New York City. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, so I've flown into here one, two, three, probably four or five times. I've got two guests flying in. I ain't gonna tell you who they are yet. I'm gonna wait. You. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because nobody really knows my brother. Does anybody know my brother? We've we had him on podcast, but not like no. visually, like just not over the phone. Nobody knows my brother. He doesn't look like my brother, but he is my brother. Y'all are starting to favor a little bit. Okay. You are like I know. Uh, he's, no, well he's he's ugly. No, well, so I'm it. starting to get ugly. Yeah, I think so. Got to mighty. I think that youth is wearing off. I'm just being honest with you. This no, is, well, I know the youth is wearing off because it sucks now. Every time I wake up, got to mighty. See, oh, but I'm he's fine. got dark hair. You got blonde hair. How'd that happen? Well, my mom has blonde hair and my dad has dark hair, so we just split. What's the, what's the milkman have though? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't high clue, bro. Trent don't look nothing like me, so what's 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 the milk man got going on? Uh, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Look, one of my daughters, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. She got blue eyes. <laughs> Where did them blue eyes come from? Listen, anytime somebody says, I don't know about it. I shook the FedEx man's hand. He had blue eyes. I was like, wait a minute. Anytime, Marcus, remember this, guys. Anytime somebody says, I don't know about it, or I don't know about that. It's almost like, and y'all don't act like you ain't never fished no tournament before. Y'all be fishing them Tuesday night or Thursday night or should be coming in. Some rando rolls in in a boat that you ain't never seen. He rolls up on a Tuesday night tournament, pays his $60, $20, whatever it is. He comes in, three fish. Well, boom, 12 pounds, nine ounces, uh. And everybody's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> and they always say that. And then after the guys leave, they're like, y'all know them? Yeah. No, I don't know them. Man, I don't know about that. The first insinuation is they done cheated. Yeah. They done came down here, took our money, and rolled out. They somewhere. They from like somewhere in Tennessee. They said, we got to slide down here fishing Tuesday night. They hit a Tuesday night or Wednesday night or Thursday night. They make a little run and cheat everybody out of money, and they leave. It sounds like a good Ponzi scheme. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about it. But anyway, uh, we're picking my brother up and his father-in-law, Robert. We'll introduce y'all to them here in a few minutes. I think they just landed. I'm waiting on a phone call. Hell, for all I know, they might be still in the bed in Alabama. I don't know. Well, they got checked bags, so they're going to be a second. Yeah, they got to wait, which I don't know why they checked the bag. Grab it and go. You, you try to talk them out of it. Well, I mean, I just hate sitting there waiting on a check bag if it's a carry-on bag. All you got to do is walk down the gate. Worst case scenario, well, if you're on a flight from there to Charlotte, you're on a 320 anyway. Mm -hmm. Stuff him right there. Everybody watching, y'all better appreciate the fact that I can get him on a tangent in a heartbeat. It's very easy. You talking about me? Yeah, it's very easy for me to get you on a tangent. No, I, know, I didn't I know, know we were still listen, filming. I like I know, just talking to you. I know exactly what triggers you to get you on a tangent. I get fired up. And I, I, I can do it on on demand. I don't know about you. It's a gift. I don't know about you. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. You doing all right? How you doing? I'm going to let you have the front and the uh, passenger side. Fly. Hey, I appreciate it. Yep. Robert Pritt. Nice to meet you. That's good. Uh, it's your help. Man. 
said, Rob, we're going all we're doing is doing a travel vlog. We're just being normal. We're just we're just filming for you too. I will tell you when to be abnormal. Be abnormal. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we picked up Robert um, and James. We're about to go to Ontario and go fish. Um, yeah, I went to this airport a bunch. Okay. Like, so we flew into New York City after last year's Cayuga tournament. This is Robert. Robert's first. You, you ever been to New York? Ever been? <laughs> well, it don't suck up here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this up wow. here is good. <laughs> the fishing up here is not yeah. bad. So we're gonna slide up to Watertown and get some food, and then we're going to launch the boat. So, Brett, are we stopping the Yeah, we're gonna right stop now? the travel vlog right now. Okay. And we'll open it back up in a few days. Yep. Y'all gotta tune back in for the channel like later on down the week. We're gonna go catch some smallmouth. We might add in a fish or two. We'll figure it out, but uh, these are these are after season videos. So after St. Lawrence, these videos are gonna come out. Y'all gonna to wanna to watch these. Yeah, you have to watch them. So we're gonna have fun. We'll see y'all later. Careful, let Appreciate us know when you get back. Good luck. Nice to meet you, Brett. Nice to meet you, Brett. Yep. How, how do y'all rate New York? Well, scale of one to ten. A seven it's because a seven. freaking <laughs> waves <by laughs> blew us off. We all got to get all uh, readjusted when we get home. That's right. That's a good solid seven. It's a seven. Yeah. So, all uh, right, y'all be careful. All right. See y'all. Right. All right. Well, Now it's time about to get back to work. We're going to Ogdensburg. I'm ready to see a little bit of current. We're getting away from them big freaking waves. Uh, the videos that we just shot are going to be posted later mm -hmm. after this, during the off season, yeah. after sometime Saint around Septemberish. Yeah, we're gonna. We, we had a good time. We did. I caught a six pound two ouncer. Raw. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, son, on a BLT. Look at that. How about a 6 2 on you, baby? Six pound, two ounce. <laughs> We're showing that one. Freaking, I'm going to show that one. Freaking waves beat our ass, dude. I got to tighten these bolts up, man. I mean, like, when I tell you, I put this triton through the ringer, but I didn't get wet all week, so. Uh, we're gonna put this show on the road. We're gonna meet up with Jacob, Mark, Adrian. Adrian might be conking, I don't know. He's a big time conk guy. You know, he loves big conk. So, <laughs> all right, let's get on the road. We're going up north. We're actually going to the river now. Let's freaking go. Now y'all make fun of me for the Mellie Yells and then y'all start drinking them. Now, I decided to get me a water, a nice good Aquafina. Acidity rate 2.5. Look, I'm proud of myself. We got in here what Monday? Monday we left. It's now Friday. I've only gone through one case, so on this pace, I should be okay. <clears throat> You've only drank two pounds of sugar. Good for me. More for me. More for you. Did you know one can has 92% of your daily value of sugar? Yeah. There ain't enough cane fields in Florida for you. <laughs> nope. You consume one whole cane field. That's me. Sugar cane field. That's what I do. Unbelievable. All right. Made it here to the house. Got Marky Mark over there. He got washed clothes. Got to, bro. Straight up, just rolling into town. Dirty clothes. You've been grinding. Big dog. I've been on the road 11 days. Yeah, man. Living the dream. I ain't got no drawers on. He ain't got no drawers. You ain't got no underwear on. No. <laughs> You're raw dogging. I don't know. I don't know. That's not the right term. That's no, not man, the right. That's, that's not the right term. Yeah. Let's not. That's not the right term. No, let's not. Man, we got to stop that saying that. That's our channel. He's it, raw dogging. That's not the right term, though. No, don't take it out of context. Whenever you that's don't. That's called have... going commando. That's it's not raw dogging. Raw dogging is something totally. <laughs> 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 that's totally different. <laughs> he said, "Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't go there." <laughs> Y'all, we're here. 
at the shores of some little lake. Just hanging out, man. Just hanging out. We've finally Chilling. made it. I just caught me one off the dock. I don't know about you boys. Man, you Mark caught did. You Mark caught one off the dock. Dead intruder. I caught some big ones out there today. So, Jacob, you did, didn't you? I had a 460 large mouth. Wait a minute. Did you weigh a 460? Oh, a 460. Really? You didn't tell me it was a 460. You said I caught three and a half and a four pack. It was a 460. What was that one? Oh, it was a 410. No, it was not. Yeah, it was. That's a survival scale. What did you catch him on? Huh. Bronco I caught him on Bronco Bug. Pitch around. Bronco Bug. Yeah, huh. it was legitimately. You liked the Bronco. Huh. All right, we're we're we are in upstate New York. It is phenomenal weather. It's 85 right now. It's yeah, it's nice. a little warm. But hey, check this out. So we checked the weather. Y'all didn't check the weather. I'm, I check, the weather. I'm checking him right now. And tell us the weather forecast. Well, Y'all got to know this because this video is posting on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Travel, yeah, travel vlog. So. The weather will be hitting y'all on Monday. Tell me what Monday looks like. I got a feeling Monday, I'm get 75 is a high. Man, 75. 75. The low. Is, low. Okay. So it'll be 87, 86, 87, then Monday, 75. Tuesday, 73. Wednesday, 77. Low, low Tuesday night, 54. Low Wednesday night, 55. 54? I didn't pack my. Hey, I didn't bring my out. own, John. Check this out. And on, on the St. Lawrence <laughs> River, you know on that river down there. Big dog. While coming off that water, it's gonna be foggy. I'm gonna need a puff coat. Like nah. it's gonna be foggy and cold. Yeah, I'm gonna need a puff foggy. coat. It ain't gonna be foggy. I'm gonna need one. For it's, this. Gonna it's, gonna be it's supposed to rain on, on Monday all day. All right, I got two subjects. Real quick before we close. Yeah. Did y'all know there is a huge population of Amish people here? I knew that. Yeah. Amish. I've a lot always, of Amish. Hey, look, I mean, horse and carriage strolling down the road. I'm, all, everywhere. I'm everywhere. always so intrigued. Me too. Colin calls them Amish, but they're Amish. <laughs> the first time, check this out. This blew my mind. We came up here a few years ago. Went to Walmart, per usual, grocery shopping, last minute, knick-knack, patty You seen an Amish man in there? No. Well, I did. He's breaking but the code. They had, they had Amish, the code. they had Amish people, how can I say this? They had, not, not Amish people, they had horse and carriage parking at the Walmart. Yeah, that's what they have up here. Yeah, it, like was that, it was that same Walmart. Listen, 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 my hands are free. Just horse shit laying everywhere. They got, they got, horse be poo-pooing right there. They had uh, a bunch of it. They got handicap, war veteran, Amish. That's what they got. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, and there's horse crap all wild. around it. I was Look, like. I was telling Mark this. We went, we passed by the Lowe's. It, it, it cracked me up. Like, they don't want to use the light, but he had to tie his horse up to the light pole. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's like, you don't want it, but you need it. <laughs> Damn, boy. Hey, but, right. hey, but shout out to them, though, because they be selling some hella good, like, corn. Oh, they bread. got corn, oh, little bread. signs. Like, there's, like, bread. vegetable hey, signs hey, all over the place. They be having some stuff. Name bro. anywhere what about in the U.S. Lester Miller Tech. Lester Miller, Miller, Miller Tech. Tech. Shout out, Lester. Hey, shout out to Mustard. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I don't get Lester. Miller Tech, so Miller is an Amish last name. Very, very well known. Oh, Miller is. Miller's a huge, do you not know that? I don't know that. Miller's know a that. very well known Am Amish last name. Did not know that. Like, I would say, comment below if you're Amish. <laughs> but I have a feeling you won't be watching this if you're Amish. <laughs> hey, bro, see, y'all hey, ain't gonna get me in this video. Right, bro. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it, bro. <laughs> no, here's the thing. I ain't no, doing no, it. Let, let me say, let, let me no, give a I, disclaimer. I Hella respect the Amish community because here's the thing. When I tell you they, they are full-blown traditional bread they don't even use power to their houses I, it's a, a it depends impressive on, depends on which which you're, th you're thinking of mennonite mennonite they'll they'll they'll, they'll venture mennonite. on it yeah, they'll, mennonite they'll cars, i've seen i've seen i didn't different. know what that was till last year that's different yeah. mennonite, 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 mennonite. Different. completely different they different. I love having amish conversations <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> all right number two <laughs> we were welcome here. back to the amish hour well yeah <laughs> that was the amish hour Yo, Number two. In 20... I, mean, I, I ain't say nothing. <laughs> I'm over this thing. Hey, 2017, we were here at St. Lawrence River. We had a picture pop up on my phone the other day, and it was all of us hugging each other. And they, was and it 17 or 18? It was 18. It was 18. Thought, yeah. It was 18. 17, it was my first smallmouth tournament up here. Mm -hmm. 18, we all did this little photo together and all that, and it was called the Brotherhood. But that was six years ago. That's wild. That's what that's a sad. life. What a time to be Shout here. out uh, Craig Lamb did that. He did it. He came. We was over staying at the Windjammer. Windjammer. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. Craig Lamb came through and wrote an article on us real quick. Six years flew like by. Craig. That was six years ago. Craig's yeah, that flew by. That's wild, bro. Unbelievable. Hey, bro, we've been out here. We've been out here in these fishing. We're still streets. kicking it though, man. We're still, we're still kicking it. So. Yeah, we holding it down. Hopefully one day Jacob will make it. Hope one you day make we're, it hope, we're hoping. We're hoping just to have him catch a bass. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping we catch a couple bass tomorrow. It's gonna be a good time. Practice starts in the morning. 
This is about to be a whole brand new tournament. We're up north now. We finally made it here. Big brown fish, a lot of fun. It's going to take a lot of weight. Y'all stay tuned. Adrian is not here because I don't really think he cares about bass fish. <laughs> Adrian he, guiding for sea bass right it, now. He literally blows my mind. He like, can't hey, get a big conk out of his mind. <laughs> he's he always just dreaming about big conks. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. All right, guys. DC had a, had a fun little travel vlog. We got to get out of here and see y'all.